Actually, uh, Adori came to Sarah High School to run track. That was his first reason to come here. We have a, we have a great team, a nationally ranked track team, and he came out here as a track guy. Football was practicing over on the football field, obviously, and someone threw him like a, like a back corner fade, and Adori jumps in like one motion, turns, like one hand snatches the ball, I mean, out of midair, with a, with a defender jumping in front of him, and I'm walking out of the weight room and I see this happening. I'm like, wow, like, that was terrific. Everyone else on the field, including like the parents that were sitting there watching practice, no one said anything. Everyone was just kind of like, oh, okay. And I was like, he must do that regularly. Jackson gets outside down the sideline, stays on his feet, he's gonna go all the way. My mom and dad, they thought it was a good idea for me. I wanted to stay back in Illinois and, you know, be with my friends, be out there in high school with them and, and do that journey. I know I was super homesick. Like, I hated California for a while. So my sophomore year here, it was whatever. I didn't really like it. Then my, my junior year, I started to like, like California, enjoy it, you know, have friends, you know. It, they took me in and like the little brother. And then once that happened, I started thinking, like, okay, maybe this is the right move. This is the best decision for me. Adori coming from another state, um, you know, I think football did help him, uh, but I, Adori is just, he's, he's someone that people gravitate to. I mean, that's just who he is. Football, uh, during the fall, they actually practice out on the baseball field. And so we were like in the infield or in the cage, just doing some, some different little drills. I saw Adori make a few plays and I was just saying to myself like, wow, like who is that kid right there? And he's like, oh, that's Adori Jackson. Looking at what Adori's skill set was as a high school player, uh, it was kind of evident the first day I met him. He came in um, as a freshman and he said that, you know, he played running back or this or that. He wanted to play cornerback. And I had mentioned that, hey, we had two returning, you know, all-league cornerbacks and it was a tough position. He said, it's all right, coach, I'm I still, I still going to do it. And uh, so I thought originally he was going to play JV or something, but it took about 20 minutes before I realized that this this young man is not going to be playing JV. I mean, and uh, and uh, and the other corners better start looking for another job. It was unbelievable because he was like, he was doing like kick return, but he was also punting. He was playing DB. He was playing receiver. He literally impacted the game at every position that he he played. Dory Jackson, how many different ways can this guy score? So Dory was always raising the ball, you know, and he was looking at it and saying, okay, I did that, that's exciting, but I, I think I can do better. Jackson has a shot. Here comes Adore Jackson. Adore Jackson! There goes Adore! I didn't see him very much because he was always in a different sport, you know, and I barely, I would barely see him in off season. It's a very good early season jump. Five of six jumps over 25 feet. When I was doing something, I wanted to do it. Like, it wasn't a thing where I was doing football and I went to track or basketball and I was just half in it. Uh, after we played freshman football, uh, my freshman year of basketball, I played, went to the championship and won it. And then track, I ended up winning that. Well, I went to the state, got second. So they seen how hard I worked and how I wanted to do it. So there was never no like conflict of interest, like, okay, let me pull them back for this because they knew I was so dedicated in doing that. And it was just helping me be a better athlete and be a better person. And, Getting a different discipline and being in shape for football, basketball, and a track are three different types of shapes. So having that and be able to go out there and, and still perform and still play, they knew like I was serious and I was going to be dedicated. You look at the NFL guys, you look at anyone at the highest level, the multiple sports I think is a big deal. I think that really helps them. I think for Dory, the fact that he just, he went from season to season, he never just said, I'm a football guy, you know, and the track was unbelievable because of speed, his, you know, and just his long jump, I mean, everything he did uh, kind of moved towards what he is today as a, as a football player. He's just a fantastic athlete. He literally jumped all the way over the kicker. Oh, my goodness. Allen under pressure, firing, ball batted up in the air, and it is intercepted, Jackson at the 40. If you come from a certain background like Texas, California, Florida, to have that background of football players because you know you're in such a great class and such a great history of players that came out and you understand the grind, the work, and the sweat that you got to put in to get to that next level because it's not going to be sweet. Because like they say, Cali cool, and that's real. Like You can be too cool and you think stuff is sweet out there, but it's really not. So you always got to have that grind and that grit with you. Throwing deep down the middle for Hopkins into double coverage, and I believe it's intercepted. Adoree Jackson, his first career INT. 